Google Mobile Services, or GMS for short, is in essence the name for the basic apps that Google provides pre-installed with most Android phones. An important thing to note here is that no one is required to actually pre-install them, however most companies do because of the popularity and the use of Google services. Now, while it's not part of the main Android open source project and it's not an integral part of Android, instead individual phone manufacturers strike a deal with Google to include these services right off the bat to make it as seamless of an experience for the users that are, let's be honest, most likely already using said Google services. Right now, GMS includes Google Search, Google Chrome, YouTube, Google Play, Google Drive, Gmail, Google Meet, Google Maps, Google Photos, Google TV, and YouTube Music. While there's obviously more Google apps than that, those are the core ones that most people use, and there will probably be more added in the future as they create new apps. Likewise, others that have been deprecated have since been removed, like for example, Google+. Plus. Now, there has also been quite a bit of controversy around that, with some calling these as being pre-installed, especially on non-Google Pixel devices, simply bloatware. Though, the truth is that most people do end up using them anyway. However, that hasn't stopped people from saying that this is, in fact, monopolistic behavior from the side of Google, with many groups advocating that this is Google simply taking advantage of the powerful position. However, Google have always rebuttaled this by saying that they're basically working in collaboration with these third parties and they sign a mutual contract to agree to have these apps pre-loaded. So, this is a very, very contentious topic, with more news coming out every single day about Google and the dominant role in pretty much every single factor of online life. While there aren't actually phones that don't have this whole GMS package installed by default, they are definitely few and far between. Though that's pretty much everything you need to know about Google Mobile Services, what exactly it is, what it includes, and what it's all about. So if you found this video helpful, maybe subscribe to How to Authority for more like this in the future.